Sometimes doing things the simplest way is the best, and that is often true in Zebras. There are so many fancy ways to get files out to the other programs that can be easy to overlook the basics, but sometimes you just need to export without any special options. Or sometimes other software don't want to load files that were saved through specialized exporters. Whatever the reasons, it's useful to look at the standard export option. So, Let's say we want to export this uh, model over here, which is very fairly simple over here. So there is not so many things here. So we want to export this. The very simplest way to do that is just to go here on the top and click on the export button over here. So as soon as you will click on the export button, it will give you many options that you can choose from if you want to export it. So there are like there are options like uh, Maya, there is options like uh, OBJ, there are VRML, FPX, okay. So any file that you want to export. For example, I want to export as a Maya file, so I will choose Maya, so that will be .ma. So what I will do over here is that I will just press the extra save button and file exported in 0.177 seconds, okay. So it was a very quick way to export. Now, big difference uh, between this export uh, here, okay, and the other fancy exporters that we have used uh, before is that uh, exporting through this button only exports a single subtool, whichever is selected. And if you have a single subtool, then I think of uh, this option is best if you don't have any uh, poly paint, if you don't have any texture, no displacement, nothing, just a single file. So just go and click on the export button. So this is a very quick and easy way to do it. Also, it exports on the currently active subdivision level. So you have to make sure whatever subdivision level you have it, because I don't have any subdivision on it. So it will just right away export it as it is. Otherwise, if you have higher subdivision level, and if you're going for printing, go for higher subdivision level. If you're going for, uh, you know, game design or anything, so go with, or animation, so go with the lower subdivision level. So, uh, if you know you just need to export one subtool, this is a very quick and easy way to do it. Now, there is one thing, uh, one other thing uh, which we should look at. So, we should go to the export options here down okay and you will see all these options so oh, the one thing that really uh, trips people up is the this group button okay so make sure uh, if you turn this uh, make sure to turn it off if it will if it is turned on so what happens it will uh, if you have some polygroups it will strip those polygroups into different little small uh, polygon pieces so if you don't want that, always keep this off. I usually keep this off so that I don't have those stripping issues over here. So uh, I like uh, it's, the, it's it's that uh, uh, like issue over here. But uh, at, on my uh, object here, I don't have a lot of uh, like polygon uh, here, and plus I don't have. If I will press Shift F, oops, Shift F. You can see I don't have a polygroup also. For me, it won't, it won't matter. But if you have a polygroup, for example, if I will go here, okay, and Shift F, and you can see there are polygroups. Now, if I will export this with this option on, so all these I these uh, faces, okay, these pol uh, these polygroups will be uh, you know broken down into different pieces. So actually, this is not I want and maybe you won't want it uh, as well. So this is uh, uh, what this option will do. So as a recap, if this is on, it will export all these polygroups and as as how it will export the polygroup uh, by cutting them down. Actually, it's going to cut 
these into different pieces, different objects along the seam of those polygraphs. That's usually not what you want. So be mindful that you might need to turn this off when you are before exporting uh, your software and this will produce good results. Okay, so that's it for exporting for quick and dirty transferring of files. I often opt for this button because it's just so handy. Okay, so not this one, I mean this one. Okay, so it's quite too handy, uh, this export. Uh, and always I try to opt for it if I'm doing some simple export uh, exporting. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live session videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you also guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson